In Modern Warfare 3, they added these Hellhound companions to help specifically with solo players. There's three different tiers to these Hellhounds, and the higher tier you get, the better they are. Compared to the other two tiers, this level 3 is incredible. This is the one you want. Forget about the tier 1 and tier 2. And because it's so good, they put it in the red zone, which is a highly volatile area, and they're trying to make it difficult for you to obtain. But I've got a method for you guys where it's super easy to get on solo, and you can get it really early on. You need two things. You need to collect meat to give it to the doghouse and then you need to get into the red zone and I'll show you guys the methods that are really easy for both of those. The meat is dropped by the zombies but it can be very rare but there's a way to increase that drop rate if you use explosive damage and have a large horde of zombies. There are multiple things you can use to get the meat and I'm going to show you guys the easiest way for solo players and then show you something that works really good and gets a lot of meat but it can be difficult to obtain. The the quickest and cheapest way for new players that are solo is to bring in the RPG. This thing is available immediately as you start playing the game. It doesn't need to be pack benched or anything. You just go to an Axeville and bring in the hordes of zombies and typically you can get everything you need within about one to two hordes and three meat is what you need for a level three hellhound. I did a lot of testing on this and the killstreaks do produce a lot of meat but they can be more difficult to obtain because they cost money. You can find these in the tier 1, 2, and 3 areas in the buy stations and you can get these if you find them in reward challenges or loot boxes. The cluster mines, the airstrikes and mortar strikes work really well if you go to the exfil and blast a bunch of zombies but these are so dangerous to use especially if you're solo but if you have flopper you are invincible to them. My method was to go to an X Fill, hoard up an entire group of zombies and blast a kill streak, and I would get one to two meat, which means I would need another kill streak to kill the next horde. So this could definitely get costly and that unlimited killstreak glitch is gone. So going back to the RPG, yeah, that's just a way better method, cheap and quick. And you may have one of these killstreaks on hand and know that it will work. And then the very best thing you can get to make guaranteed meat and not need a lot of zombies are the Kazmiers. Normally with the killstreaks or the RPGs, you need to have a massive horde of zombies and hope to get one to two meat. Well, with the Kazmir, you could kill like 10 zombies and you're pretty much guaranteed to get two meat every time. But if you use the Kazmir in the red zone, it typically produces four or more meat every single time. And shout out to Tag935. Him and I were messing with this, trying to figure out the strategy. And yeah, the red zone with the Kazmir is the ultimate way to get all the meat that you need. But they're very rare to come across and they're pretty expensive. And you can only buy them in the tier three buy stations. So just know if you come across a Kazmir, that thing is the meat maker in the game. And other explosive damage works too. Shatter Blast, Ammo Mod, Monkey Bombs, War Machines. But yeah, RPG on solo, go to the Xfil, blast those guys, and boom, you got it. Now I'll show you guys the best way to obtain this level three dog that's in the red zone. And I made a video about this previously, that there's a way to drop in, infiltrate the red zone, not be detected by zombies, and get some things done before they see you. You can get in and get out. If you try to enter from the perimeter, these zombies are going to run over you and wreck you. If you're on solo and it's early in the game, yeah, this is a very scary place to be. And shout out to Tag935. He let me know about this method and it is amazing. And in fact, today we went in and I was like, we'll just go in from the perimeter. We got this. Absolutely not. It was a shit show. And I was like, wow, the drop in method is so important. And you can use any of the cranes that are in the south area or if you see a portal jump, everything works. We like to use the crane in the south area. We just get up there because we're invincible. We can just kind of scope out where we want to go, make sure we're ready, and then we drop in. And if you're on solo, this is so easy. Just get up there, fly in, feed the meat to the doghouse. Again, you only need three meat. I know I put four in here. We don't really know why there's four slots and we are still working on that. Once you get the dog, I typically just get out and I go do stuff in tier one and tier two because you're practically invincible with this dog if you're solo and even in a team. This dog will revive you. It will follow you around the entire map. It will fight zombies for you. It will distract zombies, act like a monkey bomb. It will go after mini bosses. This thing is incredible. I wanted to test the dog's health out in an exfil area because before the patch, we would get 60 to 70 zombies at a time and the dog attracts all the zombies. 
And I just let all the zombies go to him and beat him up to see if they could take him down. And they couldn't. It would take a while for them to kill the dog. But you're going to be killing the zombies, hopefully, before that ever happens. And I did try this with a tier 1 and tier 2. And the dog got wrecked really early on. But tier 3 could hold its ground. When you go up against mini bosses, they are attracted to the dog. And will keep them off of you while you kill them and take them out. In tier 1, the level 3 dog is invincible against bosses. But level 2, it will take some damage. But you'll be killing that boss before it kills your dog. Also, this dog's health regens all on its own. And if you use a healing aura, it doesn't seem to help the dog for some reason. But yeah, the regen rate is pretty moderate. This dog will also revive you when you get downed. And just know that when he does revive you, it takes a chunk of his health. But again, it does regenerate. This tier 3 dog is super amazing and really strong and it's a must on solo but there are some things that will insta kill him that you will want to know about things that i noticed were that the storm that comes in if the dog goes through that he may not come out alive those zombies are just too strong for the dog also the disciples will laser suck him to death so be aware of that also it wasn't great in tier three i got a few revives out of it but he would just run off and get wrecked by something and i really wasn't sure what it was but he lasted a really long time in tier one and tier two. Also, I was pretty sad when I just got my dog and I was running around and in the streets there were some mercenaries and they killed it with one bullet. So yeah, no mercenaries, no disciples, no storm and yeah, red zone, not gonna last very long. But zombies and mini bosses in tier one and tier two, yeah, you're gonna have a great time. But yeah, this tier three dog is one of the best things they've added to Modern Warfare 3 zombies. And we're still working on him because there are four slots when you go to get him. So we're not sure what that is, but let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you next video.